Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Cookie Run Kingdom. So we're here right now to discuss more on landmarks. Um, as you all know, landmarks contribute a lot to your teams, your kingdom. So basically we're going through um, all of the landmarks and what they're going to do for your team or for your kingdom. So we have an updated um, list of all the landmarks right now. So more or less, um, we'll go through each and each and every one of them, but I will leave out my top five for the last five that I'm going to discuss. Okay, so we start off with the newest one that has dropped actually um, for your guild. So this is the Parf Parfaitarium. <laughs> it's a wonder conflux of ideas and theory. So basically, this one gives you uh, unity and uh, uh, produces flame of unity needed for leveling up a guild okay so for those of you guys those of you who want to contribute more to your guild this is actually a good investment if you have purchased the others already so basically this will come in as probably your secondary or you know probably tertiary uh, landmarks so this is more or less um, the last thing or probably the second or the third last thing that you're going to purchase. But if you really want to help out your guild, this is the way to go. Okay, so we have the Parfaitarium for your Flame of Unity. Next would be you have your Croissant Zeppelin. So for your Croissant Zeppelin, it's actually... Uh, balloon expedition time so this is this actually reduces it so again um not really one of the most important um, um landmarks that you should get but anyway if you do have the the gold for this one or excess gold this is only at two hundred thousand gold okay but you still need materials like um i forgot what this is but you will need this one to complete the construction of your balloon um or your sorry or your croissant zeppelin next would be your star candy observatory so this will actually give you more coins from your battle so this starts at two percent and i i forgot to mention that all of the all of these landmarks are actually upgradable so you could scale up the percentage that they will give you so again for this one this is at 200,000 gold if you have the extra ones um and also it comes with other materials to spend for this landmark okay next would be your gumball arcade machine so you for your gumball arcade machine this is actually an extra soul stone that you'll be getting. So more or less, again, this is at 4,000 um, blue gems. Um, again, I'm not really recommending this at this point, especially if you're starting out. This would come in the latter part stages when you've more or less gotten to, you've, you've already purchased most of the, the important ones in the game. So again, for the Gumball Ar Arcade Machine, you'll be getting an extra soul stone for this one. Next would be you have your Ferris wheel. So again, this landmark would give you an extra soul stone as well. So this is costing you or this is going to cost you around 4,000 gems for the Ferris wheel. Next, what we have here is your Grand Desert Tower. So this one will, will cost you 3,000 gems. So again, um, not one of the priorities, pr pr probably your secondary priority. So Stamina Jealous Recharge a percentage faster. So again, you can upgrade these landmarks that you have. Next, we'll go to Molten Magma Mountain. So this one is for rail trading time. So this is for your trains. So this actually decreases the trading time. Hence, um, the, the, the train actually goes back um, probably quicker. So again, this is actually a good one at 70,000 70, gold. So more or less, again, a secondary investment. Um, I'll go towards the primary investments later. So we move to the next one. Your next would be Eerie Haunted House. Okay, um, 
this one, you can actually put this in the primary, but for me, crit chance is about to be your secondary because again, the top five um, landmarks are, you know, are a must. Okay. So for crit chance, this is actually only at 70,000. And again, you can scale this up. So more or less one of the oh no, secondary um, landmarks that you should prioritize. Okay, so we have, I think, five more to discuss. Three of them I have already purchased. But the first one that I should have purchased actually is TikTok Clock Tower. Okay, so this is uh, TikTok Clock Tower is actually a priori priority in terms of purchasing landmarks. I, uh, my excuse actually for not purchasing this one is just I just forgot to purchase it. That's it. But um, I would actually encourage everyone once they you know have enough gold and once they're starting out in this game, this is actually a must for your kingdom. So production time initially is a minus 1%, but you can scale this up again up to, I think this is up to level, I think level 10 for, for your landmarks. So more or less one of the must buy in terms of landmarks. So again, this is number one. So for your number two, I would actually go with Everwinter Snow Globe. Again, um, this is actually this can be bought again by gold, so a hundred thousand, and this gives initially a plus five percent defense to all your cookies. So again, a must buy. Building materials again. This this requires a lot of you know saving up. So more or less, Everwinter Globe is actually um, next to next to the first one I discussed, which is TikTok Clock Tower. So again, both of them are bought with gold, but the next three actually are or have to be bought with um, gems or blue gems. So I'll start first with your flower garden. So more or less, your flower garden I already purchased with uh, with gems. So actually, it gives all of your cookies a plus 5% HP to start, okay? So more or less a good bump up to your cookies. And they would actually use this in your PvE uh, guild and also for PvP. So again, a must purchase if you have enough gems. I think this costs around 2,400 gems. So that is why I had extra gems and I had to purchase this. I had to forgo a lot of gotcha for this one. But it's a really worthwhile investment. Okay, next would be your Dreaming Jelly Lion Station. Again, one, I think probably the top buy in terms of landmarks because this gives you attack initially of 5%, can be scaled. So more or less, again, I think this is around 2,400 gems. I already bought this. So more or less, a uh, very good add-on in terms of your team in terms of um, scaling their stats up so again this is a must buy at 2400 gems so the last one that i'm going to discuss is your dark lord's castle so again another must buy um plus five percent damage resist which is very valuable in terms of pvp um this one I think cost around 5,000 gems. So it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of saving up for this one. But again, the game gives you a lot of gems. And I'm not worried, guys, that you'd be able to get almost all, or if not all, of these landmarks. Again, invest first in, in the five that I mentioned, the last five that I was able to discuss. Then the rest, it's really up to you. What is your preference? So more or less... The, this is actually the updated list but there's a bonus to this one so more or less during during the shop um in your kingdom pass you you would actually be given a landmark as well usually for each kingdom pass so this one the one that they have you have to buy this with with your own currency so more or less um this one you have to buy with your own cash so it gives you star jelly. So again, I think for each kingdom pass, they would, you know, put out a landmark as one of their giveaways. Um, I was able to get as well um, this one. 
So this is your Angel's Fountain from the last Kingdom Pass. Okay, so more or less this is what I got, the Angel's Fountain. It's it's kind of a good, uh, good investment as well as long as you are willing to invest in the Kingdom Pass. So again, this also gives me star jelly. So I think most of most of uh, what they call this, most of the landmarks for the Kingdom Pass would be giving you star jelly. So I just tried this out and kind of kind of good and a very cute landmark I might add. So more or less, guys, that is actually what I have for you in terms of landmarks. So again, decide for yourself on what landmark you need. I just want you to prioritize on the top five, the last five that I discussed in terms of the decor here. So again, choose wisely, choose and a must buy are the five that I discussed in terms of um, a must buy like the TikTok Lock Tower, Everwinter Snow Globe, Dreaming Jelly Lion Statue, Flower Garden, and the Dark Lord's Castle. Okay. Anyway, guys, if you have any comments for me, please put them down in the comment section below. Also, you guys stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.